the one thing I think people need to pay a lot of attention to is that, you know, negative real yate, negative real rates in cash money market accounts is sort of the silent money killer in terms of purchasing power. And so my real call to action for investors right now is that cash is not a safe place. It actually is the one place you can guarantee a loss right now. Bitcoin. Very different than stepping into portfolio volatility, which you can easily manage through good investment discipline. Yeah, you're still looking at 68 uh, basis points in the hole uh, for 10-year uh, right. real rates right now. Sherry, uh, mm -hmm. talk, a lot of people talking about this idea of sort of uh, staying in short duration here as, as part of a way to sort of participate in the rally, but at the same time protect yourselves. Uh, when we talk about short duration in equities, I mean, what are we talking about here? Mm -hmm. Are we talking about the Amazons and the Microsofts of the world, or is there all, all another batch of companies that we should be looking to? Yeah, I like the way that you put that because one of the things that we've been talking to investors about is, again, to anchor their thinking around this idea of idea maturity. And so we've got lots of different themes happening here at once in this condensed moment. We've got reflation trade themes, which you could argue are becoming shorter and shorter as the vaccine rollout becomes more and more successful. Those themes go away. We've got new trends now that at one time could have been a fad that are now a part of collective consciousness. We go back to these digital themes, Bitcoin, um, which we should be tilting towards. And to answer your earlier question, Taylor, that actually now becomes sort of a moment across all 11 sectors of the S&P because that involves things like blockchain and supply chain efficiency that can help people, you know, help companies improve their earnings as well. Um, so to answer your question, though, specifically, Romain, I think going forward, you'd want to continue to own tech here. Uh, but center your portfolio in this idea of maturation. Uh, the reflation trade still has plenty of room to run. Uh, I think, again, uh, when markets go up, people automatically think as we hit new highs that that means they're going to fall. I would just note to give some data reassurance to folks that in the last, you know, since the 1980s, if, you know, 40 years, every single year at some moment in the course of the year, the market was lower Entry year from where it started, mm -hmm. but only 10 times did it actually end the year in a negative spot. So what that tells us is that it's really about active, dynamic portfolio rebalancing, using moments of volatility to reset, and to your point earlier, understand if this is a short maturity idea or a longer term trend, and then set your portfolio allocation from a time horizon and risk adjusted standpoint earlier to Taylor's point about PE ratios Understanding the math and science of the market is crucial here. And then be really prepared for solid stock selection. Uh, I mm -hmm. understand the money flows into ETFs, but again, I want to go back to, you know, 10, 10 stocks representing a big chunk of the S&P. That's not really a diversification or an active management strategy in and of itself. What just happened here was a fucking miracle.